Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. Thank you so much for joining me today as I just got back from a hike and took out my new Osprey Talon 6L. Yep, I took it out and loving this. So I do have backpacks, but sometimes when I'm hiking, I don't wanna wear the backpack. I wanna wear a waist pack. So I have a, another Osprey pack that works well that I use for when I walk in my boots, but I needed something, especially when I go hiking up Stone Mountain, I can hook stuff to the pack and something light that wears around my waist. I had the Mountain Smith tour bag uh, waist pack and while it had plenty of pocket space, I felt like it was dragging down on me and this one just sits on my waist so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in, share with you what I have in here, highlight the pockets. And if you find this video of help, by the way, appreciate a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and like to subscribe to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. And of course the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. And I'll also put a link in the description down below so you can take a look and see what other people have to say about it. And if it makes sense, you can order it. It uh, comes in some other colors. I ended up going with the navy, my favorite color. So let me go ahead and sit down and let's uh, talk about this waste pack. So first of all, what I like about this waste pack is it holds a lot for a waste pack. This is a 6L, six liters, and uh, it's great on so many levels. So first of all, uh, you can see here, I fit, this is I think a 24 ounce bottle, and then I've got a little 12, 13 ounce bottle. And what I like about the pockets is that they're nice and deep. So uh, the other one, the other Osprey pack I have, the bottles stick up, so they, they sit nice and deep. And what's also great is they, you can see there, they've got a place where the, the uh, straps keep the water bottles from falling through. So I'm gonna start taking apart what I have in here so you can get an idea. So we're gonna start at the front. First of all, I love these straps because it lets me carry other items around it like this towel. And that really comes in handy so I can easily, if I have a jacket, sweater, whatever it might be, and you could just hang that like that, which is great. Uh, also, when I went up Stone Mountain, I had quite a bit. I had my tripod, my mini tripod that I hooked onto this hook here that you can also use for lifting with. And so that's nice. And these do come apart. Uh, and then you've got these enclosures and these snap close and you can tighten this like this. And then you've got the Osprey Talon logo there in front. And again, you have the deep pockets for the bottles. You also do have these bungee cords. So if you have your bottle in the pocket, you can, you wanna make sure it doesn't fall out. You can easily just take the bungee and you can adjust. And I still haven't perfected it yet, but you can easily put the bungee over the bottle so it stays in the pocket and doesn't come out. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a part so you can get a better view. So next up, you've got this nice front pocket here. And in the front, you've got a key hook. And in front, what I had was my wallet. And then you've got it like mesh so you can see on the inside. So it's, it's a nice deep front pocket and you de definitely can get a bunch of stuff in there. All right, so that is the front pocket. Now also, I love their pulleys, so they make it nice and easy to grab with your finger. Then moving up, we've got this really fantastic deep pocket, and this holds a lot of stuff. I put a mini lantern in there. I've got my sunglass case. I've got this towel. I've got some snacks, and I've got several other items and a little remote, and you can see how much room there is in there. I mean, there's so much stuff that you could put in there. Actually, I didn't even realize this. I'm learning as I go here, but I think that is huh, interesting. So there's a little zipper and that is for the mesh. So it doesn't let you, it doesn't have a zipper pulley, but you can easily uh, take out the, uh, uh, what, I guess what they do is they give you the ability to take the inner mesh lining, this mesh to pull it out and clean it if you need to. So what this divider is for the back, and I'll show you here, so beyond that mesh that you could see the white, that is this here. And so I guess if you needed to wipe it down, you can do that. But they give you plenty of room in this pocket, which is fantastic. So there you go, uh, plenty, of, plenty of space. Now, the next thing we'll talk about is the side pockets here on your waist. So here you could, you could put little knickknacks. I've got a little sprayer, 
Um, I've got uh, so, some other speakers. Uh, these are nice big pockets. Now this is my Pixel 5 and this easily fits. I even think you can go bigger than that so you can see it easily fits in there which is nice. So I, I think that there's still plenty of room that you could fit a bigger phone than this. So I know that you got like the iPhone uh, Max 12 I think it is and I think you probably could get that in there um, but uh, certainly the similar size to the Pixel 5 works perfectly and that fits in there great and then you also have another big pocket there as well so I'll put snacks and other stuff in one pocket and then I'll put my phone in the other which is nice and then moving along here which this system I love so they have this airscape here and it's mesh and then underneath the mesh it's a foam material and I find it's comfortable so one of the things that I had found when I was wearing the uh, tour the tour waist pack was that my back was getting really hot it was almost burning here I didn't f find any issue I do find I was sweating a good bit back here the good part is when you're done you just take a towel you get a wet towel and you can just wipe it down and you're good to go uh, here it's not vented it is a although it is mesh um, and you can actually see the holes see it better out here uh, especially on this part here uh, than here uh, so it's not as breathable over here but I didn't find it was I didn't get sweaty in this part here at all I'm very comfortable and their their strap system is great it locks in place and I just find it doesn't slip it stays well really really a great pack the one thing I wish that it had was for these straps is there is a place that you can like tuck it into with with a wrap but I just let them hang or what you can do is just go like this and then you know kind of have them out of the way so that's another way that you could wear it so I think this is well worth the money if you are looking for a waist pack you could fit a lot of stuff in here it takes the stress off your shoulders obviously if you're gonna go out for quite a long day and you need to carry a lot of stuff then this probably won't work but this this is gonna work great for me on a lot of my hikes and even when I want to uh, you know carry extra stuff in it too so this is definitely a winner for me uh, by the way there's nothing there on the bottom so there you go those are the highlights of the bag let me know if you have any questions again you can click on the link check it out thumbs up if you find this video of help and Osprey did a great job with this waste pack definitely love it and I even love this even more than the other pack that I have because I can carry extra stuff with me when I go up Stone Mountain and other places I want to hike like I did today it is humid out here all right everybody have a great day thanks so much for watching we'll see you on the next video take care